what's going on guys? It's Chris again from ZSE Exotics. Um, today we got a couple more egg cuttings for you. Pretty simple pairings of uh, these egg cuttings today. Nothing really too crazy. The first cutting we'll be doing is just normal to normal because who doesn't love normal ball pythons? I know there's some people that don't, you know, exactly love all the crazy colors. They just like the plain regular colors. So that's what we got going here today. And then the next clutch is a pastel Enchi to a vanilla phantom which I'm kind of excited to see what comes out of that, because those are going to be some really bright babies. So, let's do the first one again. Okay. Some of the bedding left over from Mama's bin, because she didn't want to let them go for her life. Yeah, these guys are, like, really ready to go. Let me move them like so. And then this one I can feel is on the top, so i got to be a little careful about this one. That one had a little window on the end. Did it? Yeah, normal. Just the back end there. Oh, yeah, it did. And yeah, just a normal. As expected. Yeah. I actually got, like, the pattern going on there. It's very cool. Yeah. And, of course, their pattern's always going to be varying and different, depending on what you do and what you got. So, next. I guess I should also mention that the father for this is also a possible het for Pied. So some of these babies might also be carrying the Pied trait, but we really haven't proved them out to really be certain. So, well, there you go. There's a nice ringer right there. <laughs> That's a ringer mm -hmm. for me right there. So, uh, I guess maybe he would have proven up for het Pied then. <laughs> so then it's showing by that spot, or what you call him, the ringer. That's, I've never actually seen a ringer full out from the egg. That's really cool. Yeah, because it's different color to pair the rest of the body. Either it's a paradox or a ringer forming, but from the white I saw coming from the side, mm -hmm. it's definitely a ringer forming. That's good. And that actually probably will prove that these babies are carrying the genes for Pied. That's good. And another little normal. I know, nothing crazy, but some of the colors, some are dark and some are light. Well, the darker ones are definitely from Dad, and the lighter ones are definitely from Mom. Some decent pattern variations. Yeah, for sure. Next. There you go, a little nose poking. <laughs> that one's really bright. Like, hmm. Let's see what's going on with that one. It could just be a very just bright normal, but it looked like hypo for a minute. But I could also be very wrong about that. This one, it's very juicy, and like its other siblings. And there's a window right here too. Uh -huh. So let's try this one. Might be. Okay, I was getting nervous with the full ones because sometimes they're full, that means there's something usually wrong going on. But the liquid's coming out pretty clear, so that's good. It's usually more like egg yolk, right? It's, it's like very cloudy, yeah. It almost looks like bad water when you see it. And there we go. Nice. Perfectly healthy, normal. Alright, one down. One down. Yeah, nothing crazy with this clutch. Well, we like do normals for people who aren't like huge onto the morph stuff, and also I know um, we also do sell to a couple pet stores, and sometimes they don't want the crazy stuff, they just want the plain normal ball pythons, so it's nice to make a couple of these for the customers that are either, you know, pet stores or just people who just want a plain snake, nothing crazy like that, which gotta appreciate that. Right. Nothing wrong with all natural. Oh yeah. Next, Pastel Enchi to Vanilla Phantom. That first clutch had five eggs. This has seven. Wow. And 
So with Entry and Vanilla, you should probably get some pretty bright stuff. Very bright stuff, yeah. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's work it something like this. I'm actually probably going to do this big one first. Because at least this one I can get a nice crap around. Whew, clear. Awesome. That just means this one's just extra juicy. And we've got... I think it's just a Phantom Vanilla. Yeah. Just Phantom Vanilla. Very nice. And if you hear the ruckus going on in the background, that is our tortoises chasing each other. <laughs> well, one chasing another. Yeah. He tries all day. You know, all day, every day. Yeah, that's actually a very pretty Phantom Vanilla. Mm hmm Nice color. Very. Alright, we got going on next. Um, that looks to be an Enchi. Oh, it looks to be that the umbilical cord might be wrapped around it. Oh, I see what you mean. Maybe. Oh no, I think it's part of the yoke. Well, it's wrapped on the lower body and not the neck. Well, that's good. So it's nothing to really worry about. This, I think, is just an Enchi. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see when it comes out. Yeah, and we'll keep an I'll keep an eye on it in case something happens. I've had stuff have an umbilical cords like around the bodies, but they'll usually fix it themselves without any problems, without me needing to interfere. So, Phantom Vanilla and NG. which I don't think we ever made pure Enchies. This is probably our first pure Enchie because all we ever made is like pastel Enchies. Which isn't bad, but. Mm hmm. Sometimes you kind of want to know what the plain ones look like. Uh, what we got going on here? Another Enchi? With vanilla, I believe. So vanilla Enchi. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. That'll really pop when it sheds. Either just a plain vanilla or vanilla Enchi, one of the two. I have to... Wait to see when it comes out, but maybe just plain vanilla. Huh. Come on, give me an Enchi Vanilla Phantom. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Even with pastel, I don't care. Just give me the thing I'm looking for. That's definitely vanilla. Vanilla. I don't know. I think it's just vanilla, actually. So huh. I think this one might be the vanilla and she. Now it might just be a plain vanilla. Okay. Nothing crazy going on so far. Because she's pastel, too. You should at least be able to see one pastel in this as well. So I'm kind of shocked we haven't hit any yet. I say that and that might be the one. Mine. <laughs> uh, I think another vanilla. A lot of vanillas. Huh. Yeah. This one I'm still curious on. I want to see what happens when it crawls out. But, yeah, no, no pastels. That's so weird. I mean, at least I'm happy I know who the dad is, because I, I was... The breeding did happen, which was nice, but she's also been known to hold sperm from previous uh, breedings. So oh, I see. It's happened once before, so I was nervous it was going to happen again. Phantom Vanilla. No pastels. Whatsoever. And she's made pastel stuff before. Well, yeah, we know she is. Yeah. I'm kind of blown away. This is weird. You know what? The odds have been in our favor for most of the season so far. 
It's gonna be at least one fluke. Where the odds are not in my favor. Come on. And pastel, maybe? No? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, this one's really cool actually. Wow. It's that, definitely phantom. That pattern is kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. It's really busy. It really is. I am... Yeah, because it wouldn't mix like that. That's definitely phantom and vanilla. You mm. think the... You see this fading right here? Yeah. Underneath the uh, top? Mm-hmm. Does that look like it's pastel-ish? Uh, it's hard to tell, honestly. I can just wait. It almost looks like a black pastel, but I wouldn't be able to see stuff like that. Right. Unless, again, she did have that one shared thing last year. Which, I, this kind of does actually look like a black pastel. That's weird. Alrighty. Well, we'll see what that one crawls out to be like. And that's what I like about the egg cutting is because you end up getting things that you're like, alright, this is what we think we'll get. And sometimes you get something that kind of confuses you. Like the last one here. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, as always, please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. We love making them for you guys. And uh, yeah, we hope you have a great day.